This is a help document for Study Link 5-3 from 4th grade Everyday Math. Uh, today we're working on estimating sums. The directions say, for all problems, write a number model to estimate the sum. Then it goes on to say, if the estimate is greater than or equal to 1,500, find the exact sum. And if it's less than that, then you don't have to solve the problem exactly. Let's take a look at our first example. We have 867 plus 734. Now, one question that we have a lot of times is, uh, what do I round this number to, or what do I round these numbers to, to have an accurate estimate? Well, we could do it in a couple different ways. Uh, one way is we could go to the nearest hundred. So, 867 is, uh, let's see, 900 would round up to. Then I would say plus 734 could round down to 700, and that would equal 1,600. Uh, let's take a look at a different method here, too. We could also round this number to the nearest 50. Uh, so we could do 867 would round down to 850 because it's the nearest 50 that we have. 734 would round up to 750. And this would also equal 1,600. Now another example that we could have is we could just round to the nearest 10. So I could do 867 would round up to 870, and 734 would round down to 730. And in this example, this also equals 1,600. The point here is that we could round and get slightly different numbers sometimes, uh, or sometimes the same number, um, but it really does not matter all that much. Uh, it's important to remember why we estimate. Uh, estimating is not our end goal here. The reason we want to estimate is so that when we go ahead and solve the problem, we know that we're in the right area. So this one is over 1,600. So let's go ahead and do uh, 867 plus 734. So I go ahead and solve this problem using the standard algorithm. 7 plus 4 equals 11. Uh, 6 plus 3 is 9. Then I have my one more up here, so that's 10. And 8 plus 7 is 15, plus the one more is 16. And you can see my final answer is uh, 1,601. Now, if I had gotten a different answer in here, if I had made some mistake along the way, I would know that I was off because it would be different um, from what I estimated. So for example, let's say um, I, I messed up my problem along the way. So I have 7 plus 4, we'll have that equal 11 again, uh, 6 plus 3 plus 1, uh, I'm going to have that, um, we'll go ahead and, and I'm going to make that equal 10, but see I'm going to write it incorrectly. I'm not going to carry that one up. And then I'll have uh, 8 plus 7 equals 15, and that would have my final answer at 15,101. Uh, and obviously I could see that this is incorrect because I know my ballpark estimate was right around 1,600 and I came up with 15,000. Uh, so this is why we do estimates. It's something that we do in our head to double check our work later on. Let's go look at head at number 2 as another example. Uh, this one you can see has three add-ins in it. Uh, and when I estimate these, uh, I'm just going to estimate uh, I'll go to the nearest 50, let's say. So 374 will actually round down just barely uh, to 350. Let's see, then 962 would round down to 950. And 488 would round up to 500. Okay, when I add these up, I get a... 950 plus the 50 from here, um, that would be 1,000. Add another 300, that would be 1,300 plus 500 is 1,800. And my estimate again was above 1,500, so I would want to go ahead and solve this problem over here. All right, I'm going to add my 8 and 2 together. I get 10 plus 4 is 14. Carry that 1 over. I have a 8 plus 6 is 14, I know 14 plus 7 is 21, and the one more is 22. 
And then I have a 9 plus 3 is going to be 12, plus a 2 more is 14, plus 4 more is 18. And so I get my answer, 1,824. Is it in the same ballpark as 1,800? It sure is. And so that I know that I've kind of confirmed my answer here. So I'll write 1,824.